it's a Saturday and you're working, that's some general chemistry up there. Is that equilibrium constants? Yes, I'd like to go over a question with you today involving equilibrium constants. I had a student, Artemis Jink, who asked me to do a video on this. So this one is dedicated to Artemis Jink and my Facebook study group. The equilibrium constant can be expressed as what we call the Kc or the Kp. Let's have a look. The Kc, you might see it sometimes as Keq, represents the equilibrium concentration of reacting species when everything is in moles per liter. If we're dealing with gases, however, the equilibrium concentration is expressed often in terms of pressure, and therefore we call it the Kp. The K value in either case will give you an idea of the extent of the direction of the equilibrium. In general, the Kp does not equal to the Kc. Now, here's a formula that we can derive. I'll spare you the derivation. But using the ideal gas law, we can show that the Kp is equal to the Kc times RT to the delta N. Now, the delta N, that's going to stand, let me put a delta in here. The delta oh, N means the moles of gas product, it's got to be gas, minus the moles of gas reactant. Now, obviously, if the delta N is equal to zero, this term goes to zero, anything to the zero is one, and therefore the Kp would equal the Kc. Always a test question. So if I have asked you when does the Kp equal the Kc, when the moles of gas product equals the moles of gas reactant. Let's do an example using the Haber process. We have nitrogen gas reacting with three moles of hydrogen gas to give two moles of ammonia. The Kp at 700 Kelvin was found to be 3.1 to the minus fourth. Find the Kc. Well, there's my formula. The Kp is the Kc RT delta N. Let's get the delta N first. Well, you have the products, which is two. Three and one is four. So we're going to get the delta N is equal to minus two. So keep that in mind. Plug in. We know the Kp is 3.1 to the minus 4. We all know the Kc. There's the R, which is the universal gas constant. There's the temperature in Kelvin, minus N, um, one, or the delta N is equal to minus 2. So putting it together, we multiply this out. We get 5747 to the negative second power times the Kc. Is There's the Kp. Anything to the negative power, if you remembered, a to the minus 1 is 1 over A. A to the minus 2 is 1 over A squared. So 57.47 to the minus 7 second power, you put it in the denominator squared. So rearranging this, you should be able to at least set it up for the data of the oath. You're going to multiply 3.1 to the minus 4 times 57.47 squared and we set it up and we'll leave it in the form of this. For those that are curious, when I worked it out, the Kc is 1.0. I just did that to show you that the Kc um, is usually not equal to the Kp. I hope this gives you an idea. You can add this to the destroyer questions. Um, we don't have a question on Kp and Kc in the destroyer. I think it's sort of important, so why don't we get it in? But don't be concerned about horrible numbers. Just do the setup and make sure you can at least appreciate if you're in different phases. We would often use different equilibrium constant to express the position of the equilibrium. Thank you, Dr. Romano. That's a great problem. Um, I'm heading to the beach today. I think I'll study later. You want to go? It's a very no, nice beach. day. Beaches are great recipes for melanoma. Good day to you. Well, I got my sunscreen, Dr. Romano. Good day to you, sir. Well, I'm going to the beach. Bye.